what's going on? Skins it. And uh, I got some FIFA 12 Pro Clubs for you. Uh, it's ACP All Stars, and we're playing against some cross your team. But on my team today is me, Skins 14, Fish BFC, and BR, and Dom. So, really, we're just normal procedure, really. There's only three of us. We have a big squad, so it's kind of hard to play with everyone. Um, but I was just saying, if you want to join the club, we've got um, not like open tryouts, but if on the PS3, just add Skins 14 and then just request to join. I accept you. But lovely footwork from Brandon or BR. One two with a computer finesse bottom corner one nil to us, and then you just go mad and celebrate and do whatever you got to do really. But oh uh, yeah, we take an early lead. We're well, not an early lead. That was literally all that happened in the first half was that like one shot because they controlling any which I think you shouldn't be able to control in FIFA Pro clubs. I think that's absolute bullshit controlling any. But so that wraps up the first half. Very interesting, I know. Very very interesting. <laughs> Thing is with FIFA, it's like when you're editing a FIFA video, you've got to try and put in the important bits and like the fun bits and the entertaining bits. And that first half was one of the most boring first halves I think I've ever played on FIFA Pro. But I just happened to be recording at the time, so I dropped it in. So there's the match stats if you want to pause the first half stats. Nothing special as you saw there. But now it is the funny part. Fish decides, Fish is my brother by the way, he decides to go downstairs and get a drink. So now we have to wait for him to kick off the second half. But um, but while you watch it, I was going to talk about FIFA, what I think about FIFA. Um, it's, it's a good game. It's a game where you can just play on your own. It's not something like Call of Duty where you've got to play in a party or something like that. But you can just play this game on your own. And then, uh, sorry for the black screen now. I don't know what happened with the editing. But yeah, you um, there's nothing really to do on your own on Call of Duty. But on this game, you can play on your own. But... um. When you control any, if you're controlling any in a pro clubs, right, this is what I say. You create a pro, a virtual pro player. You create a virtual pro player to get into pro clubs. But then you decide to control any. That just, it doesn't make sense to me. So you go through the whole effort of creating pros to play in the pro clubs. But then when it comes to a game, you control any. And right there, the other team decided... They was never going to pull back the one goal lead, so they forfeited. So, into the next game. But as I was saying, the, with the pro clubs, I come across a lot of ennies. I mean, when you play teams of like five or six, seven players and they've got a keeper, it's, it's, it's a lot harder to score with a keeper, but I don't really mind that. But it's when you play them players with, you play them teams with six, seven players, and they're controlling any with the goalkeeper, it's just, it's just impossible. It's very, like there's no point. They they shouldn't have even put it into the pro. They shouldn't have put it into the pro clubs. But his brand, his BRs go again. In cuts inside and just drills it bottom corner. And uh, this celebration for me and Fish in sync. <laughs> I don't know how we'd managed to do that in sync, but it looks pretty good. And then we all just lay on the floor. But he tried to see. He tried to fed it through to me, but he got lucky. Deflected off the defender and he put it in the bottom corner again. So for his second goal in two games. But um. Yeah, we're playing in the um, Brisbane All-Star, not the Brisbane All-Star, the Brisbane Raw kit. It's quite a nice kit, and that was bad defending by me there, and he punishes me for it. Yeah, but we're playing in the Brisbane Raw kit. It's it's quite a nice little orange and black kit, and the, the away kit is black. It's a pretty sexy little kit. We've been using it for a while. But um, yeah, but we have, as, as I was saying, we have a, quite a big squad on this, so... There's like 16, 17 people. Well, there was 16, 17 people, but then we just saw razors. And look at this ball bar fish. And you're not catching BR because he's too fast for you. You run the keeper out and you get punished. So 2-1 to us. But um, yeah, FIFA's a game where you can play on your own. I love playing it. Like You can just play career mode. And now EA are doing challenges, like match challenges. I mean, the latest one now is... Uh, let me just. I'm looking at my screen now because I've got it on while I'm doing it. Uh, it's LA Galaxy versus Houston Dynamos or whoever. And the challenges are just where, like, say, it's just say for like Arsenal versus Tottenham, for instance, Arsenal are 3 0 down with 40 minutes to go, and the challenge will be you have to draw the game. Or, no, it will, it will say at least to at least draw the game, meaning that you can go over and score four goals and win it, and you still get the challenge, and it's all XP. But I don't understand the XP. I don't understand the XP from um, from winning it. Like, it's, what, what what do the levels give you? Do they give you anything extra? As in, 
I think I am <coughs> I'm level 24 in the standings. Because every time you sign in, it's like, oh, Skins14 has signed in, has started playing FIFA plus 10 XP. But I don't get what the XP stands for. But um, so if anyone knows, just drop me a comment in the lot in there. Yeah, just drop me a comment in the uh, commentary section, and then we'll be uh, sweet. I'll reply to that and all that. But that would have been a sexy goal. But the commentary's coming to an end, and um, yes, correct. They uh, forfeited again, two in a row. So when you forfeit, you lose three nil. So thanks for watching, and hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Skin fourteen signing out.